Welcome to Canic. In this video, we're gonna explain a really common problem that happens with these Mercedes. Uh, a lot of times you might be driving and as you drive, you'll see a warning on the dashboard that says, drive to workshop without changing gears. And I'll show you the most common problem that triggers that and what you can do to fix it. Um, the proper procedure will be to read the codes with a diagnostic scanner, full diagnostic scanner, which we could uh, either do that remotely for you or um, you can uh, use one of the Ucanic full system scanners to read the codes. But the part that most, common, um, most commonly goes bad on these cars is this right here. It's called ISM module. Uh, so this right here is um, what controls the, the gear selected. So if uh, you select um, drive or reverse or neutral, um, these transmissions are drive by wire. So that means there's no link, um, mechanical link or cable that comes through the transmission. It's just electronically controlled. So the signal comes here and then this part controls inside the, the gear selected, the position of the gears inside the transmission. So this part does go bad and then you get that warning on the dashboard. Um, uh, the ISM module that you see here, uh, as far as fixing it, you don't have to pull out the transmission to replace it. You can see where it's seated. You have the engine, transmission, and you can do this from underneath the uh, vehicle. Uh, of course, it's going to be a little bit tight, not a whole lot of space, but it can be done. You don't have to pull out the transmission or the engine. Um, but we're doing this since we are uh, showing you since we have this out for another purpose. Um, but to fix that problem, you have two possible solutions. One is you go to the dealership and you buy that part brand new and it will need coding because the vehicle will not start without that coding to the proper VIN number of the vehicle. Uh, it's one of the anti-theft um, systems or modules of the vehicle. Uh, the other option is you remove this and there is shops that will take that and repair your existing unit and then you reinstall it. In that case, all you have to do is just put it back and it should work because it's already coded to your vehicle. Um, and so those are the two options. Getting it repaired is a lot cheaper than installing a new unit from the dealership that will run you a couple thousand dollars uh, versus having that um, taken off, repaired and put back on. But that's it. Um, of course, the problem could be other issues as well. This is one of the most common ones. We do have an in-depth article where we explain this issue, more details. Uh, so check out, uh, check that out on ucanny.com website. Thank you.